Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones and my new subscribers. If you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. And please feel free to leave comments. I love to read them. So I'm going to jump right in. Today I am doing a general energy check-in for the Capricorn Divine Feminine. And this is a series I started on just what's going on in the subconscious of the uh, Capricorn Divine Feminine or the Divine Feminine. So to my left is the situation, experience, cycle, person, place, or thing that happened in the past. To my center is what is going on in your subconscious. And to my right is overall uh, the overall theme of the reading along with guidance from spirit so with that being said let's get it okay my cappies we have here contract king of earth two of fire community in reverse eleven of water Eleven of fire, sorry. Yeah, eleven of fire in reverse. And two of earth. So in the past, Divine Femme, you had some people, you had to let some people go because these could have been close family members or friends, but you cut them off when you stopped talking to them because they were causing problems between you and your person. Uh, I'm picking up strongly an energy of um, jealousy, envy. So you had some people around you that were jealous of your connection with your person. Uh, they were jealous because they saw how well you guys, you guys work together or um, they saw how deep the connection was. They saw that it was real, right? Misery loves company. I'm hearing misery loves company. Some of these people, okay, so Divine Fam, some of you, for those of you that this resonates with, some of you had some friends that were single and they're single because they're miserable, right? Mm -hmm. Misery loves company. So because you're with your person and you're happy, they did not like that. So they would do things like drop little words or say things or bring up stuff that you may have told them about your person in the past trying to cause problems all over again. Things that you have forgiven, they're done, dead, and gone. They would little make little comments about it. Oh, like, oh, you remember when he did this? Or you remember when he did that? Just trying to cause shit, just shit disturbers, right? Mm-hmm. And this caused an imbalance with you. So they would do things or say things to you. Some of this could have been family members. Some of you, I'm picking up the energy of a feminine, like a mother, a sister, aunt, but somebody that was important to you at some point in time, they would make comments and drop words. And it's because they were jealous of your relationship. Mm -hmm. This person did not want to see you or these people did not want to see you happy. It actually made them upset and feel the energy of someone who's, um, it's like, it's just envy, you know? They're really envious of the fact that you were happy, right? Like, how dare you think that you can be happy and we're over here freaking miserable as shit? That's not your problem. Divine Femme, that's not your problem. So you realize that you had to let these people go so that you could create balance in your life because they were causing an imbalance within you. Some of them would say things that would cause you to doubt yourself, doubt your connection. You know, um, try to like erode the confidence of your relationship, the trust that you had in your relationship. This is for those of you that are in contact with your person. So these are not for the divine families that are in separation. So, or you, you and your person could have been um, working things out. So you guys are on um you guys are on a road to recovery in your relationship. Things are getting better. You're starting to work together. Um, you're looking at each other as a as a teammate. You know, as your equal counterpart. And some people didn't like that. For some of you, divine femmes, you have some uh, longtime friends that just um. It, it's kind of petty and and childish because uh. They were just jealous of you and your person because they didn't get to spend time with you that much anymore. Yeah, they didn't get to see you that much anymore and they missed you. 
Some of these people were snakes. Yeah. They came around and acted like they were happy for you and your relationship, but they weren't. Right? And they were low-key uh, hoping that you and your person would break up. Some of you had some people around you, uh, a feminine energy that liked your person. They had a crush on your person. So they wanted you to break up with your person so that they can try to make moves on your person. They, they want to try to shoot their shot with your person. But you let these people go or you let this person go. And this created a lot of balance in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This also helped to um, raise your self-esteem. Some of you, Divine Femmes, you had people around you that were low-key, slowly but surely eroding your self-esteem, your self-confidence. Just by the things that they say, the things that they do, right? They, they're low-key taking shots at you. Mm -hmm. Making you question your relationship. Some of you, you had a um, on and off relationship with your person and it's been that way for a while. And this created um, this. So on top of this already kind of fucking with your head and fucking with your heart, you had these people in the background like, oh, well, you don't know if he's still with the other woman or he. Oh, he said he's working tonight. How do you know he's really working? You remember what happened last year? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mind your own fucking business. Right. Divine fam, sometimes you got to just be straight with people. You got to be straight with people. Trust me. And you got to just let them know what's up. Stay out of my business, right? If I if I choose to share something with you, I choose to share something with you. But you need to know your know your place and you don't come to me with no bullshit. You see us working on what we're working on and you want to come to me with some bullshit, right? Trying to cause problems, low key trying to cause problems, but I'm onto your ass, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes divine times you just got to tell people to shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up, right? If you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Straight. Because not everybody, and you learn this divine fams, not everybody that smiles with you is your friend, right? Just because people are family members doesn't mean that they really view you as family. Mm -hmm. And I know you learn this. Mm-hmm. So what's going on in your subconscious, Divine Femmes? We have the world in reverse. Three of air. Four of earth. I was going to say six of earth. <laughs> Four of earth. And ace of water in reverse. So, Divine Femme, you are having some difficulty right now. Subconsciously, you are having difficulty thinking bigger, thinking outside of the box, thinking creatively to create a new beginning for yourself. You may feel stuck. You may feel stagnant. You may feel uncertain. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm picking up an energy of worry. You're worried. You're worried about creating a new beginning of, of how to go about that. Uh, this has to do with your person as well because of the ups and downs and the back and forth. So that's what's going on in your subconscious. Uh, you also, you're thinking really um, narrowly, right? So it's, you're not thinking big enough. You're not thinking about the possibilities of what could be. You're kind of just looking at the past and drawing inferences from the past, you know? And it's it's good to, how am I saying this? It is good to look at the facts of a situation, but you also need to listen to your heart, right? Your heart has its own mind. Mm -hmm. And your heart is always right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, your heart picks up on things before your mind does. And your heart processes information different, way different than your mind does. Mm -hmm. It's your heart. Your heart is connected to upstairs. Your heart is connected to your higher self, right? Your higher self has a bird's eye view of what's really happening, how things should go, what moves you should make, and when you should make them. I'm hearing spirits to come out of your mind and get into your heart. Get into your heart space. Follow your heart. Follow your bliss. 
Mm -hmm. Because you are having subconsciously, you're, you're keeping yourself stuck on how to build this foundation with your person. And you're, um, it's like you're blocking, subconsciously, you're blocking your own new beginning. You're blocking your own new cycle that wants to come in, that wants to start. Mm -hmm. So the overall message for the reading is for Chakra Archangel Raphael, right? So this has to do with healing. You're healing right now. You're healing your heart. Mm -hmm. You're learning how to love yourself, and that's what spirit wants you to continue to do, continue to heal, continue to love yourself. Mm -hmm. Because you, you really stepping into that energy of self-acceptance, um, understanding, knowing who you are, knowing your truths, loving yourself, like all of that's going to come from you starting to love yourself first. Then you will be able to figure out... Um, how you're supposed to go about creating a new foundation for yourself, right? Then the ideas will come, right? Free, free flow, right? Because you're, the, the solutions to what's going on inside of you, they're right there. They're right there, right at the surface. You just need to like pull back and, and get out of your head. You're too much in your head. You're trying to think your way out of things, and that's not. Spirit is saying you need to tap into your heart, right? Your heart um, has the keys to open these doors and your heart has the map to travel this road that you're on for the, to create this new beginning, this new world, this new cycle. So spirit wants to continue to want you to continue to focus on healing and loving yourself. Mm -hmm. And you have, uh, you, you have, you have angels angels or there is there is a spirit around you that is helping you to open up to loving yourself more you have help from upstairs they're helping you mm -hmm. yeah um divine femmes you may feel sometimes like there is someone or something around you some of you may have had a loved one pass on or just um guidance from upstairs but it's like a specific, maybe a guardian angel, a spirit guide. You have a, a guide, a high guide around you that is helping you to figure this out, figure out how to move and create, move into your new beginning and create this new cycle for yourself. Yeah, you have an angel around you that's protecting you. I'm hearing helping you to keep calm. I'm seeing a, um, a divine feminine at a table with a notebook and there are, there's like two angels surrounding you standing on either side, but there's one in particular that is really like, they're very motherly with you. <laughs> like nobody can fuck with you. No, <laughs> not, not on their watch. No, not on their watch. Right. And they're really rooting for you. Upstairs is rooting for you, divine femme. You will figure this out. You will figure this out, but you need to continue to do your healing. You need to tap into your heart center, your heart chakra. Your heart knows the way. Your heart knows the way, honey, on how to go about creating this new beginning. Mm -hmm. And opening the doors to this new world for yourself. Mm -hmm. Focus on yourself. Spirits have to focus on yourself right now. 100% focus on yourself. Your person will come in when it's time. They will come in the right way when it's time. But right now, you need to focus on yourself so you can build your own foundation for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Aw, I think that was a beautiful reading. Okay, my Cappy Divine fams, that's what I have for you. Uh, take a look at the information in my description box. If you scroll down to the bottom, there is a link to my online store where I offer all my programs. So some of my programs are channeled from 5D by Sophia Charles. So they were created by a twin flame for twin flames, right? So if you are having trouble thinking about um, what your next moves are, mission, I'm hearing mission. Divine fam, some of you, you are supposed to be in mission right now. 
I encourage you to take a look at the information in my store. Uh, purchase the programs. They will help you to get into mission. They will help you to heal. They will help you to get with your person. Mm -hmm. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email me. Also, if you're looking for a personal reading, in my description box, there is a link to my Etsy store where you can book your own personal reading with me. And we can, we can bang that out. We can get that done. Okay, so that's what I have for you, my beautiful, happy, divine femmes. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.